This video is about a Moodle module called Media Capture. It's a repository, a feature that allows teachers and students to record audio and even video directly on the course page and then to save it and use it elsewhere. I'm not going to go into the technicalities of installing it in the different options here, although I'll give a link at the end, but we're going to take a look at how it can be used in a course from a teacher's point of view and then also from a student's point of view. So we're in a course, Cycling in French, as a teacher. One useful thing that you could do with it would be to add a spoken introduction to your course. So I'm going to go to the first topic section, Speaking, and I'm going to click onto the Edit icon in order to get inside the text box to the summary. Now I'm going to click on the Moodle Media icon. And then when I click to find or upload a sound video or applet, I have the option sound recordings. That's what the administrator renamed the media capture repository as to make it easier to find. I'm asked here to allow my microphone. I haven't allowed video on here, but I'm just having audio. I have to accept my microphone and then I simply press the red button and record my introduction. The administrator can set the maximum length of time. When I'm done, I then need to give it a name. And then I upload it. And there it is. And you see how easy that is to record directly on the screen, save it and to have a pleasant spoken introduction. So the next thing we'll do is we'll have a look at how students can benefit by making an assignment. So I'm going to get an assignment in Moodle 2.3 and I'm going to choose to have online text. Even though they're actually going to be uploading an audio file, a sound file, I'm not going to get them to upload it as an attachment. I want them to use the Moodle Media button as I did as the teacher because then when the teacher grades it, it will actually play in line and be much easier to do. So that's why I'm asking for online text and I'm not going to have any files attached. So let's just scroll down and save that. And the next thing to do is to use the account of a student who is very good at cycling but also quite good at French and see how they use this media capture repository to record their homework. Well, Bradley Wiggins would appear to be quite good at French and also very good at cycling. So let's have a look at how he would handle using this repository as part of his assignment. So if we go into the Cycling in French course and we click on the assignment as a student, then we need to click the button Add Submission. And because this has been set for online text, the first thing that appears is the text box. And so Bradley or a student would click on the Moodle Media icon, as I did as the teacher. This would bring up the Find or Upload a Sound Video or Applet option. And then he'd click Sound Recordings. And again, as in my case, he'd have to allow his microphone. So he simply records his homework, gives it a title, uploads it, And there it is. Now we need to log in as a teacher to see how this works from the teacher's grading point of view. So if we click the assignment, one participant has uploaded their assignment. And when we go to actually look at Bradley Wiggins' assignment, if we click the magnifying glass to view the whole text of the online text, we see why it was useful to ask him to do it that way because in adding it through the Moodle Media icon we've got a really neat player to listen to his homework. If you're a Moodle administrator you can get this repository to install it on your own Moodle in the plugins area of Moodle.org where you'll also see the information about the different ways of displaying video and audio and the different extra things you possibly might have to install but it is well worth it.